Welcome to another episode of Healthy Your Way Podcast, where we discuss health issues ranging from physical, mental, emotional, as well as current facts. Today we're going to be talking about naturopathic medicine. And today my special guest is Dr. Katherine Nui. Hello. Thank you. And the reason why she's here today is we really want to discuss how a naturopathic doctor can help improve your gut and your health itself. So um, a little background. She's a licensed naturopathic doctor, as well as a degree in biomedical um, medicine, right? Yes. Yes, good. That's right. All right. So welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So I guess for the viewers and the um, and the listeners, listeners, one of the things that maybe they want to know is what's the difference between the difference between naturopathic medicine and conventional medicine. Yes. So what, the very short answer to that is, I like to say that a naturopathic doctor is like a family doctor. Okay. Um, but we don't treat using pharmaceutical medicine for the for the most part. So okay. we use natural options. Um, another way that naturopathic medicine differs from conventional medicine okay. uh, is we have a, a focus on individual care. So what that means is I'm really focused on the person that's in front of me, not necessarily the condition that they might oh, have. I see. With. Okay. Yeah, so in an it's example, not like the condition or the, it's just really that person. And everybody's yes. different, right? Everyone's different. So, so specialized medicine. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> so an example would be um, if someone came to me and they were telling me their story about how maybe they're feeling run down or okay. tired, that kind of thing. And we also do lab work to, to look at it. Okay. A medical doctor might just look and see, okay, the lab values are within the range. Um, that's saying that there's nothing wrong with you. So... There's oh, I see. What, you might so find a depression oh, okay, going to see. A, a conventional medical doctor, whereas a naturopathic doctor is really going to look at, listen to what you have to say, how you're feeling. Okay. They're going to look at the labs as well because it does give us information. But we're going to see like where is that number falling within the range? Maybe it's in range, but maybe it's at the bottom of the range. That's okay. telling me like, okay, for you that's not good enough. We need to do better there. I see. So we really take a deeper look at what's going on with the person. So very individualized and specialized. That's what I was thinking. So, like, okay, not to say I'm going to where the doctor's not right. I'm just like, absolutely. <laughs> and I can say, can I? Yes. That's really important. I guess. And then, sorry. So, that's, I think mean, that's a major difference because I don't think a lot of people know that it is basically specialized health care for you, determining what you, what issues you're facing. Then again, then a lot of people are like, okay, so there's a conventional medicine, like a regular doctor, a natu- naturopathic doctor. Are you guys regulated? Like, because I, I know I said you're licensed, so do you have a body that makes sure that you guys are following the rules properly? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you never know. No, it's true, and it's something to, to definitely check and make sure when you're going to look for a naturopathic doctor. Okay. They are licensed. They do have a license number. Uh, I they have have a number. One. Yes. Can you claim benefits? Yes. I didn't know this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this. Sorry. I, I didn't know this. Okay, sorry. Let me just read it. I apologize. Just keep going. Keep going. Um, yes. Uh, so I went to through four years of uh, natural public school, um, yeah, following my degree in biomedical science. Oh, that's four years. Yes. So in order to become a natural public doctor, you do have to have a degree, and with that degree, you have to take certain courses. So your anatomy, physiology, all the same pre medical sciences okay. that you would need to get into conventional medical school. Wow. When once in school, um, we do study all of the you know anatomy, physiology, all of the basic um, uh, human. Uh, I guess you mean bio- medical yeah, sciences. Yeah, yeah. But on top of that, and then we study also the pathophysiology. So once we've learned how the body works, we also learn about all the conditions that can go wrong and how to treat those. Okay. And the biggest difference is the way that we treat. So, so we then, learn. Yeah. Botanical medicine, so herbal medicine. Mm. Yeah. We learn a lot about diet and nutrients and nutrition and, and that uh, way. Your body too. Of, yes. Yeah. So it's not like for people it's not you do get that training. You Absolutely. That, and I think a lot of people have that misconception itself. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think I may have had one. I don't think I had any misconceptions or any thought process on it because I've never been really informed about what a natural habit doctor does. But then for a lot of people that wonder, okay, so now I have an idea of what you guys do. What you guys offer, you are regulated. So then, what are the benefits of going to see one? I guess that's the question. What's the benefits? Like, are you looking? As you mentioned, it might be specialized, right? Or could it be? I don't want to take it away. If someone wants to go see you, is it? Um, 
is it the opportunity for them to get me to get an individualized um, um, care? Is that not, and I'm just like, you tell me the benefits. I'm just thinking out loud based on what you just said. Yeah, so when you go to see a naturopathic doctor, um, you can expect a, a different level of care than from your family doctor. Okay. You're going to spend at least an hour in the first appointment with your, with your naturopathic doctor. An hour? Yes. <laughs> Be ready. Okay, <An> <laughs> you ready. And it goes by so fast. You're not in there being like, oh my goodness. At the end of the appointment, you're like, I was only an hour? Like, I have so much more to tell you. <laughs> you don't want to know more about me? Um, so, yeah, we really take the time to get to know the person in front of us and to figure out how we can treat them. Uh, so that's, that's like, the, the base level. Okay. Um, seeing a naturopathic doctor, you are going to get um, a lot of information. So we're really proud, we really pride ourselves on educating our patients. Okay. So that you understand what's going on with your body and you can take ownership of your health as well. So we're giving you information, tools, and resources to help you take care of yourself. Okay. That's, you know, That's not necessarily going to get from your conventional. Two strikes there. I can see that. And I think, like, then do you have to be already sick to see you? Or is it something that can be like a pre, pre-care before, before yes. natural? Or indeed. So, yes. uh, yeah, absolutely. You can definitely come to see us when you don't necessarily have any conditions. We're okay. actually trained as primary care practitioners. Really? Which means that yes, we know how to help you take care of your health, and um, <laughs> and we know all the markers, all the signs, all the symptoms, and um, you know what to look for when tra- taking care of our patients, and when to refer out, and um, you know what tests and, and other tests you need to do. Then to add to that, is there certain things that ND can't can, can't do? Like I don't know, I don't think you guys can do certain things. That's common, honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like I'm like. We do, we are trained to do like minor surgery, just like suturing stitches, but in Ontario, that's not within my scope. Okay. Um, but in other provin- uh, provinces or states, that they might be able to. Uh, a naturopath doesn't um, order x rays or MRIs okay. or that sort of thing, but we do order uh, blood work. The blood work. So, this, so that's where you're certain, certain type of limitations you have on the specs too. We also do physical exams. So okay. We do your, you know, annual physical exams. Really? Exam. That's interesting. And I think, um, so now we have an idea of what you guys can do and what, you, what, what are the benefits and respects to an ND. I guess then there's so much information out there. What is your suggestion for people that are looking for an ND? Like, are you, should they look at their um, reviews or, like, I don't know, like, you know what it is. Nashpass have the websites where you can go and look uh, and read about them and who they, find out who they are. And if you like that person that you want to have them be, you know, in control of your health care and your advocate, your educator. Um, and a lot of naturopaths focus on, on different areas of health. So I personally uh, focus on women's health in particular okay. and digestive health. Um, some naturopaths, I, I mean, found a, a referral for someone who was looking for care for multiple sclerosis. Oh, really? Um, yes. Yeah, so, you know, there are naturopaths out there that focus on, you know, pediatric health, so children's care and, like, autism. Cancers and, and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, yeah. so you definitely um, look to find a uh, naturopath that might kind of focus on, on something that's important to you. And, and so some of them have focus on these things. So basically whatever you're looking for, be careful, not be careful, but make sure you know what they what they specialize in. That would be helpful, yes. yes. If you're just looking for a um, general practitioner, any naturopath that's well trained will be able to. <laughs> so make sure they're licensed, that's what you said. Make sure they're licensed. And then again, okay, so now we'll okay. have to care for you, but just, okay. yeah, finding the right person that, that fits with you. Most naturopaths will do like a free 50 minute consultation. Okay. So you can go in and ask questions and see how they work. Some are, uh, yeah, have a, a different way of, of working with people and you can find someone that vibes with you. Then if somebody wants to reach out to you and say, okay, look, uh, we like what we like you're hearing from you, you seem very, you seem like an educator. A person, and you, and you said you specialize in women with digestive and digestive health. Health, anything else specific? Yes. So specifically, when I said uh, women's health, I do mean like balancing hormones. Okay. So women with PMS issues, looking to get pregnant, um, energy fluctuations, PCOS, PCOS, endometriosis. Okay. Yes. And then also digestive health because the crux of all of our health does involve digestion. Yes. A lot of people have issues and they don't even really realize it. Um, stress management's a big one too. That's also health related. 
how would they reach out to you then? You can reach out to me. Uh, email is the best way. Okay. And just go at drkathleenuri.com. We will have that down at the bottom. Uh, I have a website, drkathleenuri.com. I'm on Instagram and Facebook. Yes. Dr. Kathleen we'll be tagging her as well. Yes, yes, yes. We'll be tagging her. And then, yes, um, sorry, did I cut you off? I apologize. No, no, no. I was going to say you can reach out to me in any way. I will respond. It's true. Um, I think what sets you apart? Like, if they want to reach out to you, why would, why should they reach out to you? Like, a lot of people are like, okay, now we have information. What makes you, makes you you? I guess that's the question. What makes me me? I, I, I was a love-hate relationship with this question. I really should love <laughs> to answer it, but I don't. Uh, what makes me special, yes. Uh, I, I'm someone who's very good at listening. Okay. Uh, I'm a problem solver. I'm, uh, a resource for people and I work hard so I'm constantly researching if there's something I don't know I'm gonna go and do that work for you um, I like to make sure that people feel like they are heard and, under and understand also what's going on in the situation so even if um, I may not be able to necessarily request a, you know a test for you or something like that I'm gonna make sure that when you go and speak to your family doctor you understand what you're asking for what's going on what the next steps are uh, I had a patient recently who um, went to see his family doctor after I said, you know what, I think something's going on and you need to request this test. And his family doctor said, no, I don't think so. And because he had the information from me, he said, no, I really want this test done. It came back positive and they had to treat it. So uh, just making sure that um, that you have a very clear understanding, that's something I'm very good at doing. So basically you give them the tools and you educate them a lot to just fix the problem they don't give you the education of why you have that problem. So I guess that being said, man, I appreciate your time. You Thanks know, so much for having me. Yeah. Thank you for joining us today on our weekly episode on Health Your Way podcast. Don't forget to subscribe, share with others, and please feel free to comment below and ask any questions on topics we've discussed as well as future topics you'd like to hear about. Have a happy and healthy week and be sure to tune in next week for the next episode on a Health Your Own Way podcast.